What's going on everybody? I am Average Arcader and it's time for us once again to check out the Minecraft Bedrock Edition Marketplace. Looks like there's a new update for some of the latest mods and or add-ons. Um, today I'm going to take a look at them and show you the ones that I feel have caught my attention at least and that I feel are the ones we should be checking out. Uh, I'm going to pick out five like I did last video. These are the top five good looking ones. Uh, that I feel normally what I do is I based off how I look, the description, and who is making them. Now, first up will be this one, Lava Block Survival. Got my attention right away, just from that first picture. But when I go into the description and look a little further, uh, you have new skins. Uh, there's this whole world. Like, look at this map. Look at this map. This really looks cool. This looks like a good survival. Um, Possibly I might do a let's play series on this one. I'm not sure we still have other ones to check out But this is the first one that really caught my attention definitely worth checking out It looks like it should be fun and have a fun time on that. So let's move on to number two Which is this one Crown castle now this is by pixel bister. I love this studio I've done a lot of let's plays on their their work. They make really nice, detailed worlds. Now this doesn't have a storyline with it. It's more of a role play map. But in the description, it does say that there are dungeons. We've got three unique dungeons. It comes with custom skins, so you can have fun with this with friends and. If you want just to explore, their maps are that fun. They're fun to just explore and to see what's going on. There's a lot to see. There's a lot of hidden little items for you. Like I said, their worlds are worth just simply exploring or even, you know, in inspiring you to build your own stuff. So I would definitely check that one out. That's our number two. Moving on to number three. This one caught my attention right away. Kingdom of the S Sky. Uh, created by Blame the Controller. Also, it's a Pathway Studios uh, product, which I really like Pathway Studios. They do good adventure mods and or add-ons. And this one, in the description, it claims it comes with a fully voice narrated story. Um, that caught my attention. I love those, especially uh, ones that really give you challenges and this one is supposed to challenge you each individual area is supposed to have a challenge that you have to overcome to get to the next area uh, you're supposed to be I guess saving someone I'm not sure I don't know the full story uh, maybe again some of these I'm going to plan on either reviewing or doing a let's play of why don't you guys let me know in the comment sections down below which ones you want to see if any you know maybe you have another one of the new ones you want to see there's 39 new mods and or add-ons up right now on the xbox i mean not well it is xbox on the uh, bedrock edition marketplace okay moving on this one i am for sure doing a let's play on starting this week be a dragon by Everbloom Games. Now, Everbloom, I have done a couple of their mods. I've done Let's Plays on them. They're normally awesome. They really uh, go through the extra mile and make their stuff function really well. There's a lot going on in their mods and or add-ons. They're never just a pilot swap or anything like that. They literally add decent mechanics. They can almost make completely full games on their own using the Minecraft setup like they do. I'm normally always impressed and I've never seen one like this where you can literally become a dragon and fly around and do things. It looks really interesting and I definitely plan on starting a let's play on that. So look out for that one. Be a Dragon by Everbloom. Okie dokie. And then the last one we're going to check out today is Dragon and Castles. Now this just like uh, the lava survival one, 
this is this will be the first one I've checked out from this particular studio, Cubed Creations. I've never really checked one out. I've seen a lot of their creations. I, they never looked bad, uh, but I've never actually, you know, played one of theirs. I plan on at the least reviewing this mod. Uh, it looks very interesting. I love dragons. Uh, if you guys are following on Instagram, you know that I'm currently building a giant dragon skeleton uh, on one of my uh, survival sur uh, servers. I love dragons. I normally try to check out any dragon mod or add-on that pops up. Definitely going to check this one out. It has medieval themed music, it has special sound effects, a lot of interesting looking locations. Uh, I think you can attack all these different uh, castles, they each have different enemies in them and you can take them over. Like I said, it looks really cool. So I definitely recommend checking that one out as well. Okie dokie, so I think that was five. Let's see, one, two, three, yep, four, and that was our top five. I saw a lot of other ones that kind of caught my attention. But the ones that I really think I'm going to check out are the ones I showed you. So keep an eye open for Lava Block Survival by uh, Team, what is that, Visionary? And then The Crown Castle by Pixel Bister and Kingdom of the Sky, which I guess was created by the Blame the Controller guy, but I guess also Pathway Studios. So, looks good. It looks like they're using the classic texture pack on that one. So, it should be cool. I I might check that one out on my own. I'm not sure if I'll do a Let's Play or not. But I definitely will be doing a Let's Play on Be a Dragon and or doing a review on dragons and castles. What do you guys like from some of the new mods and or add-ons? Why don't you leave that down in the comment section of which ones caught your attention. There's a lot of nice looking ones. Those are just the ones that caught my attention. What caught yours? Also, be on the lookout for those Let's Plays and or reviews. But if you guys feel there's anything we should review and or Let's Play on the channel, make sure you let us know. But until next time, I'm Average Arcader. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.